Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about Senator Menendez from New Jersey, provide a little bit of an update on what's going on with that, you know, just in case you hadn't already heard enough about the possibility of political insiders using their influence to perhaps assist foreign powers. Um, so we're going to provide an update on that, and then we're going to answer a question that has come in a few times about Menendez. Okay, so quick recap. The senator from New Jersey is already in hot water with the feds and has already been indicted. Most of the initial allegations dealt with Egypt. There is now a superseding indictment that uh, kind of focuses on Qatar, Qatar. And it extends the it extends the conduct into 2023. Um, now, what is available right now, it looks like most of it is stuff related to business deals, investments, stuff like that. Those are what the allegations are. Um, now, one of the questions that has come in about this is why Democrats aren't calling for him to resign. And this has come in like a few times. Um, the simple answer there is they are. They are. Um, it started back in September with the, with the first set of allegations. And by the end of September, a majority of senators who are Democrats had called for him to resign. Um, there are already new calls for him to resign based on the superseding indictment. So the question is, you know, well, why hasn't he? Because a call for a resignation is still a call for a resignation. A resignation is voluntary. It used to be the, the standard tradition was if you were being investigated, well, that was one thing. You could stay. But once you were indicted, you needed to resign for the good of the party. And that tradition kind of held up for the most part up until just a few years ago. Um, and now that's, it isn't um, a tradition anymore. The tradition seems to be to try to stay in office as long as possible. Um, so it isn't that Democrats aren't calling for him to resign. They, they are in, in large numbers and vocally. It's just that their calls don't really mean anything. It's still up to the person who is facing the allegations. Um, we'll see if the superseding indictment changes anything, but based on the statements coming from Menendez, it's probably not going to change anything. Um, so that's what's going on. Um, and if you remember uh, Menendez, this is the person who had the gold bars. Um, there appears to be uh, there appears to be a, a decent amount of evidence supporting the allegations against him. So we'll have to wait and see what he does as far as any potential resignation, and then wait and see how it plays out in court because based on public statements, he's going to take this to trial. So anyway. It's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.